Hello guys, it's me, Jamie. Welcome to a reading vlog that I am doing for the, not the first week of the decade, but like maybe the second. I don't know, who really cares? But yeah, a reading vlog. Today is Sunday, so I thought I'd just kind of vlog for like today until next Sunday. I'm not really sure, but also who cares? And I have no idea what I want to read at the moment. I am in the middle of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which I was reading when I was in Melbourne, but obviously I'm back from Melbourne now. I got back quite a while ago and then I went on holiday with my friends for New Year's. So I've just back, I'm kind of settling in back at home and I thought it'd be fun to read this, but I was reading this because I was wanted to be in the mood for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and I saw the Cursed Child, but it's still my favorite Harry Potter book. And for some reason, it's such a good summer read. I don't know, like, cause I don't have to think about it. I've read it before, it's fun. So yeah, I'll probably try read more of this, but I also want to start a new book because last night I finished The Party by Robin Harding, which has become my first book of the decade and it was terrible. I read it at one star and if you saw my last video, I actually talked about how I wanted to do more like proper full reviews on Goodreads and so this has become my first proper full review. Um, I actually posted my review this morning and I'm pretty happy with it. So if you want to check it out and read it, that'd be cool. It feels so weird like asking you to do this like you don't have to do it but yeah I also would love to kind of learn and get better at writing reviews and everything so feel free to leave some constructive criticism I would actually very much appreciate that yeah if you notice anything that could be improved let me know because that's important to me I just want to be better at these sort of things. And actually, you know what? Same with my videos as well. I watched Whitney's video recently, her vlog, and she had a big discussion in it about how people can't really take criticism on booktube. And I just want to put it out there that I'm very much someone who can take criticism. As an actor, I have to take, I've learned to take criticism my entire life. And if you see something in my videos that you think would be improved, you are 100% welcome to let me know if you think my audio quality is bad, my lighting's bad, I ramble too much about something that no one cares about, tell me so I can get better. And you can have a more entertaining video to watch if you watch my videos. Peace. But yeah, apart from that, I don't really know what I'm going to read. So yeah, Goblet of Fire. I also kind of want to read Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. I've been wanting to read this for ages. I actually, when I was on my hiatus, I read probably like the first chapter of this and was like, this is amazing, but I know I'm going to end up putting it down and not reading it for a month. So I ended up not actually continuing with it so I could read it at a time where I would really want to. And I really enjoyed the writing style. So this could also be a potential. I also really want to read A Little Life maybe. Um, this is a really depressing book. I know that Yasmin read it recently, rated it five stars. I know that people said it's kind of similar to The Secret History, not in terms of content, but like the writing style. But this is one that I want to buddy read with Caitlin and Heaven, so we'll see. Also might be in the mood to read The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, just a classic big old fantasy book. Also one that I want to buddy read with Jacob. So I might see where those three people are at in terms of their reading, see if they're in the mood for these books. I might talk to them, otherwise I might just read Emergency Contact or I might just finish Goblet of Fire. Who honestly knows. At the moment I have a couple of videos to film. I'm actually kind of nervous about it because I haven't filmed videos in a long time and I can't really remember what works and mm, oh, I don't know how I'm feeling about it but we'll see. But yeah I'm gonna go do that now and then I'll talk to you guys later about my reading. But yes time to film some videos. Lovely. Wow okay so I just filmed a video and I completely forgot how exhausting it was to pull off like all the books that you're going to talk about in the video and then like put them back on. I just realized how privileged that sounds and I apologize. I'm very lucky, very privileged to own all the books I do. Wow, what a mess. But yeah, like I forgot that thing about like taking off all my books and then like rearranging them just for like a video. I have one more video to film, but yeah, then I'm just gonna sit down and read and then I'm seeing Caitlin tonight. I'm not sure if anyone cares about this, so like, feel free to skip. But I think like with my videos, I'm still trying to figure out what I wanna do, but I think one of the main things is I wanna do more like reading vlogs than like sit down videos. Cause I just find them more fun and easier and the other videos that I like to watch anyway. I don't know, let me know what you want. Like <laughs> it's hard because I don't know like how much people actually care about like what I what I do and I feel like sometimes I'm just kind of flattering myself when I'm making these um little clips about 
asking for stuff like that but yeah cool i'm gonna go and get dressed now and film another video i'm not sure how much you can tell but um this is the sky and it's literally like orange and ashy and i live in new zealand not even in australia but this is what the fires are doing honestly you can't even tell but it's fucked um it's literally the apocalypse so um why not read harry potter outside under the burning sky lovely okay hello guys it is currently monday and it's monday evening kind of and i haven't done that much reading i read a little bit more of harry potter like from the last clip that you saw but not too much at all i have been just chilling out today i saw some friends um and i've been writing down all my unread tbr books in my journal and i'm kind of freaking out because i've done that for the past like hour i've written down exactly 100 books i'm doing it in alphabetical order from last names and i'm currently up to h so that's very early in the alphabet and i've already got 100 so i'm feeling very anxious about the amount of unread books i have i'm so glad that i'm doing this book buying ban it's fantastic i just need to read these books basically which i think is funny that i'm rereading harry potter at a time when i could be reading books i haven't read before but yeah but it's fine i have decided that i'm going to be going away tomorrow with my family to my beach house and my beach house is really relaxing because it means that I can just like take books, do whatever I want and read. I'm just not in the mood to like end my holiday right now, you know? So it's cool to just kind of chill at my beach house with some books. So I'm definitely going to take Harry Potter, hopefully try to finish that. I made a poll on Twitter about what I should read next. And I put on Empire of Storms, which is the next book in the Throne of Glass series I need to read, which I haven't read in a long time, in like a few months at least. I put on A Little Life which a lot of people want to buddy read for some reason, so I'll kind of message people, see what they feel like doing. And I also put on Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi, which I think will be like a really fast contemporary. So yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely going to take Harry Potter and then I'm going to find out what else I want to take. I'm going to be there for like the whole week, so I think I should take more than two books, I think. Probably three, maybe four if I'm feeling generous with myself. But yeah, we'll see how I go. But in the meantime, I am just going to go and have some dinner and then we're going to see Caitlin. And I'm currently uploading a video as well, so hopefully that will be up soon. But I just thought I'd check in today and talk about my reading. Yeah, I've only read like 30 more pages. And it's funny because I said that I would be doing proper reviews on Goodreads, but I don't think I'll do one for Goblet of Fire just because it's Harry Potter. I don't really know what else to say. It's obviously a reread. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be doing reviews for rereads. I don't know. I'm still going to put up a photo and like my links and maybe something to say about it. But yeah, I'm not like writing down all my thoughts or anything because it's it's Harry Potter. I know what I think about it. But yeah, okay. Time to eat food. I'll talk to you later. Hopefully I would have finished a book. We'll see. Uh, so I did it. I wrote down every single book that uh, is on my unread TBR and the total is 248. Love that for me. Doesn't give me anxiety at all. Okay, cool. So yeah, this year the aim is to get down to at least below 150. Like for sure below 150. Wow. It's 15 pages, by the way, that I wrote down of books that I own and don't haven't read yet. I am so tired now. I'm going to go to bed and read and stress out about all the books that I need to read. Okay, lovely. Good night. Good morning. It's so early, but... I did end up reading quite a bit more of this last night. I hate Ron. <laughs> Ron is so annoying. I always thought that he was my favorite. Like in high school, I was always like, yeah, Ron's my favorite of the Golden Trio. No, he's not. He's dead last. I actually forgot how much I hated him in this when he's so angry at Harry for literally no goddamn reason. Literally just because he's jealous. Get a grip, grow up. Like, I just don't understand. Like, Ron, you have grown up with a loving family. Yes, kind of sucks that you are, like, the youngest and live in the shadow of your brothers. But that's hardly an issue compared to what Harry's going through. Jesus Christ! I could go on about this for ages, honestly. But, like, Ron please shut up challenge. So I'm halfway now. I've just finished the first task of the Triwizard Tournament and yeah, I'm going to read some more today. I'm not going to my beach house till the afternoon. So basically I can just chill all day and reply to comments on my video that went up last night and yeah, just relax. I'm going to try and finish this today, I think. So yeah, let's better get a head start 
this morning. That's really all I have to say. Um, I hate Ron. Yep, so I'm up to the part where Harry's dueling with Voldemort and he sees his parents. Ah, love that for me. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. I'm sad. Hello, I've just showered. It's the evening. I thought I would do a little update. Uh, I didn't actually end up going to my beach house tonight or this afternoon uh, because I had some stuff to do here. So I'm actually just going to go with my stepdad tomorrow. So that's why I'm still here. So I'm not at the beach house yet. But this morning I did actually finish Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire finally like I knew I would. I'm very happy about that. Uh, but yeah, I actually read it so fast, which was great. But yeah. All the tears as you would have seen I cried a lot more than that than what I showed you it's really sad like it's actually really emotional but I really loved it there were also more points where Ron really pissed me off like I forgot how much he actually pissed me off not just with the Harry thing but also with the whole Hermione thing and Victor Crumb like I was just like I know he's 14 but how are all your friends like literally so much more mature than you yeah wasn't a big fan of Ron but yeah this still is definitely one of my favorites the whole scene with Voldemort coming back honestly that is like Harry Potter the series at its peak it's just so good so yeah obviously five out of five stars I did do not a review on Goodreads but like a little mini kind of mini review kind of just li listed the things I love about the book so um I'll link that down below if you want to read it you don't have to this whole vlog is just me now plugging my Goodreads because I've decided to start doing proper reviews. Love that for me. So yeah, I finished this and then I kind of went about my day. But just before, um, just after my shower, just before I started filming this, I actually decided to start Emergency Contact. So this is going to be the next book I read. I only read three chapters, so I'm not very far in at the moment. But I just felt like I needed a really cool, easy, fun contemporary after all the magic of Harry Potter. But I don't know too much about this, but from what I can gather, it's told in, from two different perspectives. It's told from a girl called Penny and a guy called Sam. Penny is in her last year of high school or she's just moving to college and she's moving away from home for the first time. And Sam, don't know too much about his storyline, but he works at a cafe and he's a baker. And I think he has some ex-girlfriend problems. I've only read one chapter but that's what I can gather and also what I can gather is that these two characters are not connected in any way at the beginning so I believe they'll probably come together um, somewhere throughout the story but yeah so far I'm really liking it I really like the writing style it feels very current if that makes sense like there's a lot of slang being used that I believe is quite like realistic and genuine the characters seem really real so far i mean i've only read three chapters i've only read two chapters of penny and one chapter of sam but they seem really like genuine and yeah really cool um penny is kind of like awful to her mum or like thinks really bad things about her mum which i don't love especially because her mum seems to be like totally harmless except for the fact that she's like a milf so i don't really know why she is so scathing about her mother but i'm sure we'll get into that and I love Sam already like I love him he like he's this like a guy covered in tattoos who like loves baking and, oh I love him but yeah I'm just gonna keep reading this one tonight I feel like I can get through quite a few chapters of this there are lots of things I want to do tonight like I do want to watch a movie I do want to keep watching the k-drama that I've been watching but I'm just in such a reading mood so yeah, I'm going to read more of this and I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello. Okay, so it is the next day and I am about to leave for my beach house, but I just thought I'd share some of the books that I am taking. So obviously I'm taking Emergency Contact, which I didn't get through that much more of last night. Um, I'm now on page 75, but still really enjoying it, really loving these characters. I actually find them interesting because the characters are quite hard to like. I personally like them, but they're very judgmental, very cynical. And I find that really interesting, so I can't wait to keep reading. Yeah, I'm really excited, but this is another one that I'm taking. I also picked up a book from the library today. I picked up Sleeping Giants by Sylvian... I don't actually know who this is by. And the author's name is covered, so I don't know the full author's name. But yeah, I picked this up from the library. And I actually made a tweet on Twitter recently saying, who wants to buddy read with me? And someone messaged me and was like, let's read Sleeping Giants. And I was like, yeah, keen. I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to get out from the library because of my ban, obviously. But it looks really good. So I'm keen. And then I went to message the person today on Twitter being like, hey, I picked up the book and I couldn't find their account anywhere. I couldn't find any of our old messages. So I'm still going to read it and hope that they're reading it too. 
But yeah, I don't think they blocked me because like, why would they block me? I, their account, I think is just gone. And so are all of our messages. I, I don't know, what, what does it look like when someone blocks you? Although I don't think she's blocked me. This is so confusing. Anyway, if you're watching this, hi, I picked up the book. I'm gonna read it. Hope you're good, hope you're well, uh, yeah. So yeah, this is one that I'm gonna read. It's a science fiction book. I don't know too much about it, but yeah, it's science fiction YA and I will keep you guys updated when I start reading it. And I'm also gonna be taking Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass, which is the next book in the Throne of Glass series, which I have neglected. So yeah, these are the books I'm taking with me to read on the beach. I've got a contemporary, a sci-fi and a fantasy. So we'll see how we go. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show my new annotating pencil case. Oh my God, no, I don't mean to stuff up your face. Ah, yeah, love you. This was a gift from my friend Yana. So Yana, if you're watching, thank you. I love him. Okay, hi guys. It's been a couple of days. Um, I'm at my beach house and I haven't been vlogging just because I've been too busy relaxing and I feel bad, but yeah, I just, I, I haven't been vlogging, but I thought I would do a quick reading update because I have been doing so much reading here. I finished Emergency Contact. I rated it four out of five stars. I actually really, really enjoyed it and I would rate it five stars. I would, but it wasn't a perfect book and I know it's not a perfect book and I know it's not for everyone and I feel like if I was to rate it five stars I would be being purely subjective and I don't want to do that because there were some lines in here that annoyed me and there was a little bit of girl on girl hate at the beginning which I wasn't a fan of just because Penny and Sam, our two protagonists, are so cynical and so pessimistic and so judgmental and I personally loved that. I loved that because I felt it to be really realistic. I think 2020 is the year that we need to realize that not everything is like sunshine and rainbows. Okay, we're about to go into a tangent here and like we're about to get like a little bit deep. I don't know if anyone cares, but I feel like when people view me on this platform they kind of see someone who is kind of all sunshine and rainbows because you know i like to project positivity and all that sort of stuff but i'm actually not like i'm actually quite evil <laughs> like yeah i can be super judgmental sometimes and you know especially in high school i was such a cynic and i was like judgy about stuff and like you know people would just be out there living their lives and i'd think that it was embarrassing and obviously it all stemmed from like insecurities because like what teenager isn't insecure but like i just thought it was a really realistic portrayal that like people and humans aren't perfect and i feel like this was almost like mary hk Choi admitting that she was like you know she had this stuff going on in her head and you know sometimes it is embarrassing and it is hard to admit that you do have judgmental thoughts all the time and you're not like a perfect lovely person but i feel like i'm getting really tangential and i feel like i'm not making sense but i just really loved the realistic portrayal of human beings and honestly the relationship between sam and penny kind of reminded me of my relationship with my high school boyfriend in terms of the fact that like we could just text about anything for ages and not worry about like the other person judging the other person and like we were just really cynical and judgy and mean about people and it was fun like we did like and another thing is i felt like the voices in here were slightly holier than thou slightly like i'm not like other girls i'm not like other boys we're not like other people we're perfect but like isn't that what being in love is like like you think that it's you two against the world like i honestly am not having an intellectual discussion when talking about this book but this book is just too good and too heart breaking and warming for me to have an intellectual discussion there definitely are some triggers in this book that i think people need to be aware of um i have listed them all in my goodreads review so i will link my reviews for the books i've talked about in this video down below so you can read it you can see the trigger warnings and you can see more of my thoughts because i feel like i can't go fully in depth just in a reading vlog but yeah sorry none of that made sense i'm so sorry but yeah i finished emergency contact and i rated it four stars i also started sleeping giants last night and i'm actually buddy reading this with three people now i made like a call out tweet on um being like hey i lost the person i was buddy reading it with because they deactivated who wants to buddy read it with me and so a girl called courtney who i met on twitter we are buddy reading it and then i wrote jacob in because jacob loves sci-fi and i'm like jacob read this with us and then the girl emma 
who was the original person I was buddy reading it with, actually messaged me and was like, hey, I actually made a new account. Um, can I get in on the buddy read? And I'm like, oh my God, yes, of course. You're like the OG. So now we have a group chat and I'm reading it with Emma, Courtney and Jacob. And yeah, I'm super excited. So I'm only like 30 pages in and it's kind of confusing. It's told all in interview format. And basically it's about a girl who when she is 11, she is riding her bike into the forest at night and her parents don't know. And she like falls into this hole and in the hole is this giant like metal hand. And that's the prologue. And then so far from there, um, it's been interviews with scientists and like military people. And we're just kind of finding more about these like large metal parts, like body parts that have been found like all over the planet. So that's where I'm at at the moment. It is interesting. I love an interview format. I love an interview format so much. It is very scientific and I am not an intellectual so I'm, I'm a little bit confused but you know it's good. It's good. We are enjoying it and yeah I'm just really excited to read more of it and see what the others think and yeah I, this is very much out of my com comfort zone. I don't really like science fiction that much. Like I like Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. That's kind of it. I love a bit of dystopian. That's kind of it but yeah i'm gonna try and read more of this today talk to my friends about it and just relax and caitlin is actually coming up to my beach house tomorrow we're having a beach day we're gonna go see a movie we're gonna read so that will be some fun stuff for you guys some content to enjoy and yeah that's kind of it and cool hey guys i am home now i finished my time at the beach house i had such an amazing day with caitlin yesterday and i'm so sorry i didn't get to vlog any of it we were just so busy. We went to the markets, went to the beach. We did some reading on the beach. We did some swimming. It was just such a nice time. But yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to vlog any of it for you guys. But it was it was fun. We had a lot of fun. Um, but I thought I would do a quick reading update. I'm now halfway through Sleeping Giants. And it's a really... It's funny because I'm reading this because of a buddy read that I'm doing. And it's interesting because it's actually a really hard book to buddy read because it's kind of like like I'm enjoying it but I don't really have any theories or anything to gush about like there's really not that much to say about it which yeah is you it's quite interesting because usually I have so much to say about books but yeah this book it's enjoyable probably sitting on a three for me just because it's like it's, it's not grabbing my attention I'm not like dying to read it um when I'm out doing stuff but it is still like enjoyable. I can see objectively it's a good book. It's just so sciencey. It's so sciencey. And like, I would consider it light science fiction. It's not like super action heavy or anything, but like they just go in a lot of detail about stuff. Like they talk about lots of sciencey military things and I'm just like, awesome, cool. Um, it's interesting though, cause it's told in interview format and through like journal entries, which I really love. And I've heard from Jacob that the audiobook is full cast. So we love that. But yeah, I think I'll probably finish it tonight or tomorrow because it's definitely not a hard book to read and it's also quite short. But yeah, I just thought I would give a little update with that. But I'm actually going to end the vlog here. I'm so sorry. I feel like this vlog's been a bit shit. Like, I feel like I've just kind of done like sit down talking about things. And I know that like some people find that a little bit boring. But yeah, let me know what you want to see in vlogs. Like what sort of content you like to see in vlogs because I... And I'm out of the game, you know, like I need to, I need to get back into it. So just let me know what you guys want to see. And yeah, let me know if you've read any of these books that I have talked about in the video. They will all be linked down below if you want to get them, if you want to look at my reviews. And yeah, I'm going to be hopefully filming another video this afternoon, but we'll see if I can get to it because I'm quite busy today. I'm about to go out. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I, yeah, again, I'm sorry that this video has been a bit shit, but we're just, we're just getting back into it. So cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you hopefully very soon in another video. Bye.